Welcome back to the Culture Homes Realtor Portal. Uh, in this second instructional video, we're going to talk about how to create a listings flyer. Uh, in the first one, we went th over how to do a fact sheet, and here it is. So, uh, when you log back in, you're into your account, and you're ready to create another one. You're on the My Flyers tab. You just, hit, you just click on Create a Flyer. So, uh, as noted, we're going to create a community listings flyer. Uh, quick note, two community listings simply means you can have two communities in one, something you're only going to do if you have communities that are real close to one another. More than likely, you're either going to create the fact sheet or, as we're going to do right now, create a community listings flyer. So you click that, and then here are the available uh, community listings flyers. Uh, if we want to narrow them down, we can, and we can just pick Southeast Florida. And so, in this case, let's create one for PGA Village Verano, Move-In Ready Listings. So we click on it. So this one, you have a couple more things you got to choose from. Uh, this is the template preview, and then here's your information, which you can change going to my account. But your choices here are how many listings do you want to include? So you can have six, which is two rows of three, and if you want to see what that's going to look like, there you go. Your next choice is three up, and so that's one featured listing, two secondary, and then finally, it's just one main image, so one listing. Now you can look at it that way, or if you want to, you can hit, click on these little eyes here and it'll show you. But that's just to give you an idea if you're not kind of familiar which kind you want. So I'm going to go with, in this case, three up. So what that then does is I have to pick which, which homes I want to feature. So number one, the main image, and then here are the homes currently available. And this is selected real time from our website. So it's as of the date you're picking it, the pricing, the information. So let's go with uh, this Lago move-in ready home. We'll take that as our featured. In slot number two, why don't we select one of our villas? And in slot number three, we will pick uh, this Isabella. And as you notice, as I'm picking homes, obviously there's fewer and fewer homes up here because I've already selected. So we'll pick this Isabella. All right. So I've selected my homes, three up, three homes selected, and I click on create. So right now it's pulling the information, all that good stuff, and boom, there is my preview, which, just like the fact sheet, I can click on it, and up comes my logo, my headshot, my contact info, or yours, all that good stuff there, so your clients can will get your information. And then down here, general information about the community, and then here are the three homes you selected. All right, well, instead, I wanna go with, say, uh, you know what, instead of three, I wanna go with six, simple. I click now here on two rows of three, which is a reminder, is gonna give this presentation equal size, six listings, but I have to pick six more homes. So, I'm gonna pick them right now, we'll pick that one, we'll pick that one, and we'll pick that one. So, I regenerate, because I generated this one, but now I've decided to add more listings, so I do have to click regenerate. Going to pull all that information in with photos, all that good stuff, and boom. Now this is laying out with six homes. Address, price, details on each, all your contact info, perfect. You want to use this now? You just click download PDF. Click on it, in my case right in the browser window, and boom. There's my personalized flyer six listings that I can save right to my folder, email, I can print, however you want to use this. All the info's there. Of course, keep in mind, you're going to have to refresh these as home sell, and so that's where you come into this feature, right? So we've saved it. These are now my active flyers. If I were to log back in here in a couple days, 
and one of these homes were to have sold, you'll see a little message here telling you that you need to update your flyer. If anything changes, and the same goes for the community fact sheet, if we were to change something, say, as a feature or in the pricing, and we change it on the back end to the template, every time you log in, check your active flyers, and if you see a message here telling you new information, you got to just go back to that flyer, and on this, I'll click it, now nothing's changed, but still, I just click regenerate, and then whatever needs to be updated is updated. Again, if you have any questions, there's a contact us uh, button that you'll see on the site. Please get in touch. We're happy to help and we're really happy for you to be using this tool. Uh, appreciate your feedback and thanks again.